For those of you who are new to Ahrefs and similar uh, marketing tools, I figured I'd just create this quick Ahrefs demo just to walk you through how to use this tool to see what's going on with your website, competitors' websites, their ads, SEO, all that good stuff. So if you don't already have an Ahrefs account, it's a paid tool, so you will need to go sign up in order to use the tool. However, once you're signed in, you'll see a bunch of tabs up at the top. I typically like to use the Site Explorer starting out. And what I'll do is, let's say that we're doing some marketing for a roofing company. I'll just do a search for that service, so Phoenix Roofing, and then start finding the top ranked sites. So I'll skip the maps listings, but just go to these organic websites down here and start taking these websites and putting them into the Site Explorer and click the search button here. When you put a website into the Site Explorer, you're automatically going to get a whole bunch of information about what's going on with this website and its competitors and all that good stuff. Same thing, just do that with a couple of these. It's typically the approach. And what we're doing is trying to take a look at what's going on with the top websites that are organically marketing in a niche. And then we can also even look at the ads. So we'll look at this company here in a minute. But first, I kind of want to just give you a breakdown of what's going on here. So this first panel is going to give us some overarching data in terms of the domain rating, which is sort of like their domain authority. And then the UR, which is your URL rating. Same thing. It's like the URL rating. These are more or less a calculation of the authority of the URL and the domain itself. So because we're on the home page, it's probably going to have the most authority. And we can see this one's actually a little bit higher. From these, it's creating this AR, which is the authority rate rating or rank. Uh, they have their own terminology for this, but they've indexed basically all the websites online. And you can see where these websites stack up in comparison to every other website online, of which there's over a billion websites. So if this site is ranked 44 million, this site is 10 million. That means this one's got a lot more power and authority, which is probably coming from all of these uh, backlinks that they're getting on an ongoing basis, as well as a number of other things. And then from there, we can see all of the backlinks they have. So interestingly, this one has more backlinks, but they're probably not as authoritative. This one even has fewer uh, referring domains. But again, just the pure number of backlinks is ne not necessarily going to improve your SEO. You want to have quality backlinks. So that gives us sort of an overarching idea of what's happening with the SEO side of things. And then we can see from that SEO authority that they built up, what sort of rankings and traffic they're getting from organic. So you can click into these and see what keywords they're ranking for, how much traffic they're getting. Basically anything in blue you can click on in here and kind of expand things out. So we can see that they're ranked number four for Phoenix Roofing. Phoenix Roofing and Repair, they're ranked number two. So it's actually going to order these by the traffic that they're getting. So what this tool does is it takes the position and the search volume and does some math to figure out the estimated traffic that they're getting from that term. And then that's how these are ranked. So this is the term that's bringing in the most traffic, second most, third most, etc. And there's all sorts of stuff we can see about how their ranking has changed over time, what the actual search engine results page looks like. So we can see what competitors are ranking here as well. And we can export any of this data to analyze further, filter it up here, etc. And then there's also the paid traffic. So we saw back here when we did a search for Phoenix Roofing that Lions Roofing is showing ads here. I noticed that they're also ranked organically, but all the way down here at the bottom. But we could take their website, put it in here in the top of the search bar, click go go to their overview and now we'll see that they actually have some paid traffic right here 
So we can see what keywords, you can even see the ads that they're running. Maybe we'll start with the ads. So these are all the ads. Shows you how many keywords, the traffic they're getting, their rank over time, or excuse me, their traffic over time and keywords and stuff. So there's kind of a graphic breakdown. But this is super valuable to be able to see what ads they're running and then also what keywords they're running those ads to. So we can see roof inspection, Phoenix roof tiles. Interesting that we're not seeing Phoenix roofing on here because we did see that. Uh, but there's different match types in Google Ads. So it may be it may be that they're not advertising on these exact terms, but on phrase match or broad match. So that's firing the ads to show up. Either way. Can you also see the distribution, whether they're getting a majority of their traffic from these keywords from organic or from the ads. We can see what position their ad is showing up in. Tons of helpful information when we're trying to figure out what's going on in a niche online. And that's sort of the idea here is use Google to help you figure out who the top companies are in a space, who's running ads and stuff. And then you can just take those, start popping them into Google and see or into Ahrefs and see what their backlink profile looks like, their organic search traffic, their paid search traffic, all their different metrics like domain rating. You know, there's graphs for all of this stuff where we can see their URL rating and their domain rating and how that's changing over time, their organic traffic value, et cetera, et cetera. Further breakdown of where they're getting their traffic from, their backlinks, quality of their backlinks, all their organic keywords they're ranking for and how that's changing over time, their top organic competitors. So it looks like Lions Roofing is their top competitor according to this tool and some of these others. So we can just start bouncing into some of these others, taking a look at how they're doing. And over time, after doing some analyses in here, you can begin to see some trends in terms of you know how many backlinks each of these websites have, where those backlinks are coming from, the local directories that they're set up in, the keywords that they're advertising for. And then when you start to see a lot of overlap, like let's say you know, all the ads are looking similar in this niche and they're all going after the same keywords, you can export all that data, analyze it, and create something that's even better than what your competitors are doing in terms of their SEO, their uh, content quality on their website, their ad copy, landing pages. But without a tool like this, you're kind of flying blind. You don't really know exactly what's going on with a website or a niche in particular. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how Ahrefs works or any of the different features, which I do cover in other videos in more depth. Uh, but don't hesitate to reach out. You just drop your questions in the comments section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm gonna show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.